Cadet Flight Sergeant Aaron Harmsworth. Today I'll be demonstrating how to iron your Wedgwood light blue shirt. First, you want to start on your epaulette. You want to make sure you unbutton your epaulette and iron on the back of it. You want to make sure you apply pressure so when you go on inspections, it's a key to detail. And then make sure you do it to the same side. The reason why we iron on the back of our epaulette is because if you say so you have too much heat or you burn it, no one will see it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to iron the collar. I want to make sure I don't iron this bit as when you fold it over, it will be shown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to iron on the back of it. Make sure I get rid of all the existing creases across the back of the collar. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to iron the left side of the Wedgwood blue shirt. Making sure where your shoulder meets the shirt, when it's up here, make sure you have it on a short end of your ironing board. Now, you run across the iron to your shirt, getting rid of all the creases, and when you get to the corner, it's a bit fiddly, but with experience, you will get the hang of it. Never leave the iron flat on its surface or when you're ironing your uniform. As you may burn your uniform and some squadrons have a limited amount of how you um, how much uniform you may get. Now I'm ironing the crease of where my belt meets my shirt. As that's where the creases may have the most impact. Once you've done that, you're going to flip your arm around and drag it across as you go. Now, you're on the back, you're on the back side of your shirt. This is important because when you're doing drill or when you're doing something very high class, some people won't look at your face, they'll look at the back as they may be, may be behind you. And make sure you apply as much pressure as you can to the creases and it should be all done. Now what you want to do is, if you have these wet lines, you can run over the iron again. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to iron the right hand side of my shirt. Making sure where your shoulder meets the shirt is on the lower end of the ironing board. In case you have something like this, you may use a cloth to prevent any such of burning. This may take a while, but once you're finished, it should be all done. As you can see, it's not finished, 
so I'll move on to it later. Now, I'll show you how to do the arms. You're going to make sure you grab the middle of the epaulette here, make the crease and make sure it, it's like this. You're going to make sure you iron both sides as you may create creases when ironing this. You're going to make sure first you make sure your buttons are undone. Make sure the arm or the sleeve is flat so you do not make any creases. What you want to do is go across the crease first and once that's done go on to the rest of the arm. When that's done, you flip it over and you do it to the same side. You can show it's all flat. Now that's done, you want to make sure if you move on do the other side and other sleeve of your shirt. Making sure you repeat what you did to the first arm. Grab the middle of the epaulette, flatten it out and making sure your buttons are undone. Now you want to apply the iron and make lovely creases. Flip it over once you're happy. And there you have it. You have a new bank, brand new, ironed, blue, light blue shirt.